Hi, welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. So today we replaced the K member on a um, 03 Mach 1, which is the same for uh, 9904 and previous years before that. I believe it's still very similar. So let me show you what we did here. As you can see, new K member. Oh, let me get out of the way. The uh, new K member is in. It's not bolted down um, yet. It's just kind of uh, everything's finger tight. Um, so as far as steps, I showed in another video how you should support everything. Two and a half, uh, or I'm sorry, 2,500 pound jack on the bottom, and then up on top I've got one of those uh, um, big red bars that go across that just kind of holds the engine from the top. I don't know the name of it, but anyway, let me show you what we have. So. As you can see, everything fit quite well with the BMR. Um, it's got the separate perches up on top, which are bolted on. Um, here's where A-arms are going to go. And I just finished up um, putting on uh, the steering rack. I cleaned it off first because it had, you know, years and years and years of grime on it. So, um, so putting it on was pretty easy. Energy bushings there. Um, Every, every bushing on this car for the most part is is, is energy. Um, put in new motor mounts. Those are energy up there as well. Kind of see there. Um, and you can see everything's kind of bolted on. So let me give you my thoughts so far. Um, so as far as ease of putting it on, I mean, it's really not that bad. Uh, just make sure you support everything. That's probably the most important thing. I mean, who wants to have an engine fall on them? Um, so, if you think you have it supported well, double check it. Um, you know, if if you have it supported only from the bottom, do the top as well. If you have just the top, do the bottom as well. Just make sure that you're safe with it. Take your time. Um, really didn't run into any issues at all so everything on it was pretty much smooth um, I mean it worked out well um, I'm waiting for a few more pieces to come on uh, one thing that I am doing is I'm strengthening this up so as everybody knows you know the um, the factory K member had a bar that went across uh, right behind the uh, the oil pan. Um, I think that support bar is good. I think that it's Im it's important to have it, but I know that everybody wants to save on weight, so what I'm doing is pretty simple. You see that this kit comes with a uh, quarter inch, um, you know, uh, they call it a washer, but but basically it's a quarter inch spacer you know, to, uh, for the bolts to go into. Um, what I'm doing is I'm making my own reinforced bar. So essentially, I've got on the way a uh, four inch by four inch uh, angle bracket that is aluminum, quarter inch. It's gonna sit there, you gonna have holes in it, I'll be able to move it back and forth, what have you. But it will sit um, low enough right about here that on the front part, I should be able to have a three-quarter inch aluminum bar um, that's box that's, you know, um, maybe a quarter of an inch thick or an eighth of an inch thick, but just something just to help reinforce it. And then just have it bolted on to where it could kind of uh, be right there and then just kind of go across so stay tuned for another video and and I'll show you how how that I did that um, one other thing whatever that you're putting on bushings you can see this right here I have a big jar of the um, energy suspension um, you know grease that they have or, or lubricant uh, that you use for you know pretty much everything that you put on of theirs um, and, you know, uh, J and M suspension, you know, my lower control arms and uppers, it was the exact same stuff. It was energy suspension, you know, uh, tacky grease. So I put the same on there, 
pushed it in, made everything work, bolted it down, but um, I'm a huge proponent of using stuff like that because, you know, a lot of times people put in high performance parts and they don't do the simple things like, you know, making sure that you grease everything um, or, or have, you know, some sort of lube on it, you know, that, that's recommended. Um, and they don't do that and all of a sudden they have, you know, noises when you go over a speed bump or just, you know, different rattles and if you do it right the first time, you're not going to have any issues. With the rear suspension that I did, there's zero noises. I mean, you can't hear a thing. So, you know, if you're going to do something, do something right. Do it right the first time. And um, that's it for another video. Thanks again.